Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Chuggo the Chuggo, and that music should let you all know that we are back in Minecraft. But with the end of How to Minecraft Season 1 and the departure from what I would expect to be the last, I don't think we're going to do another vanilla. Like, we might stay pretty loyal to vanilla, but it won't be a pure vanilla server anymore. Um, I wanted to go ahead and keep on going with the vanilla stuff because I, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was kind of fun doing like problem solving stuff and there's tons of stuff that we didn't do in season one of How to Minecraft. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be starting a new series where um, we're going to do vanilla survival except we're going to do it in hardcore. If I die, I die and you know, salty tears and then rage and like table flips everywhere. But if we don't die, that's when it gets interesting because at that point we get to do cool things like we can build super bases and stuff like that who knows i don't know perhaps we can make something beautiful i have no freaking clue but anyways let's go ahead and make it game mode hard kill the hardest difficulty in one life only my lord and then we shall call this like er my god please no i fan don't kill me dog which coincidentally will also be the seed name Generate structures on world type defaults. Huh, super flat. Wait, what? Large, oh, like the areas are larger. Yeah, no, I'm good. I guess we'll just stay with default because honestly, that's. I want the chains on. Come on, man. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you are all excited and ready. Here we go. And. The start of something truly evil. Really, really evil. <sighs> Downloading terrain. And welcome to our new world, and it tried to kill me right off the bat. Awesome. Good job, game. You spawned me in the middle of God knows where on a mountainside. On a cliff. On a literal cliff. Really? On extreme hills, you know, like my favorite biome in the entire world. It's not. All right, well, we need to get down in the safest way imaginable because this is hardcore and I would like to live a little bit longer. I, I, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. I'd be pretty sad if I die on the first episode of this. That would be pretty bad. All right. I forget if you are, I think you are allowed to heal off of saturation in this. Okay, well. I'm not really in a rush to find out, though, admittedly. All right, so planes. This is not a bad place to start a base, honestly speaking, although there's a lot of random, like, little pools of water. Um, Honestly, we can make our first camp here. There's nothing wrong with that. I would rate that as a strategy. All right, so let's start from the beginning. Here we are. Step one, again. Oh, my lord. So I guess the real challenge here is that in hardcore, I think there is natural regen, but the thing is going to happen is if I get ever caught off guard, AKA creepers, cough, cough, creepers, one, one like kills one dead creeper in Lachlan world. So if we get jumped by a creeper, that's when terrible things happen. Um, but until that happens, I think we should be pretty okay. Now, let me see here. Let me get a good idea of what the land looks like here. Um, let me get a lay of the land. Okay, so we have actually a pretty decent space. These things of water, I'm not too sure about, but yeah, we can make it work, I'm sure. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Hmm, yeah, yeah. Whoop. Although, admittedly, it's sort of a bummer that we don't see any chickens or pigs in this area. That's sort of a bummer. Chickens are just so convenient. I have no idea why I'm doing this. I should not be doing this. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right. So let's throw down the crafting bench in the middle of Lord knows where. Make some sticks. Look at that. UHC skills coming into play, boys. All right. And then we're going to actually... Eh, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do some wood chopping. I'm not in any rush for golden apples because this is not UHC. So, yeah. I guess we just kind of chop away. We just kind of work at it. And we're getting wood, boys. All right. Off to a phenomenal start. Oh, my gosh. I can already feel, like, a creeper just, like, 
Hello, dude. How are you doing? <laughs> That's an awfully nice place you got there. Just poof, gone. I can just I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it. I can feel it just coming from my booty. And I don't want to give no booty loving. <laughs> I don't want to die out here. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. What's the worst that can happen? Kipo. Although, I can't imagine that this is going to become a really salty series if I ever die. And it's like, you died, dot, 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 in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, no! Why? Like, 50 days in or something, like, right before I finish a major project and then a creeper just RKO's me. Or, like, I get glitched and I just rip a Rooney. Wait a minute. Oh. Hmm. Well, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters very much. But I just realized we are actually playing this in 1.8. Like, 1.8. That's it. We're not playing on 1.83. I might actually start this... Like, we'll, we'll keep the world we're on right now. But I will start it up in a new version of 1.8 in my next run of it. Because, um, yeah, when I, when I run it again. Because I think that it's... Nothing was like broken between one eight to one three, one eight three that is. So I think we're okay. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Anyways, I do need your guys' help though. If you guys would be so kind as to leave your series name ideas for right now, I'm just gonna call it, like, uh, like hardcore vanilla survival or something like super generic. Um, but if you guys could leave some comments and some feedback about what you think sounds good, I would appreciate it. Because then we can have a cool new series together. And I'm really looking forward to this. Because I think a lot of people on the channel really enjoyed it. And, I mean, I am I personally am down to do some more. So, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't exactly done with all the stuff that I wanted to do in Minecraft Vanilla. So <laughs> dying. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff that I would like to do personally. And I would be very much Dune. Dune for it. Hmm. A wise man would consider making a whatchamacallit, but I am not such a man. Actually, do I want to... Let me think here. Yeah, I guess I should make a shovel. We'll make a shovel. I'll make a swad. Yep, alright. So, we're going to make a quarry in that mountain, I think. We're going to just change that into a quarry. That weird, like... It looks like a tiger, almost. These sheep are playing a very dangerous game. It almost looks like a look. It looks like a tiger like that's lying down. Oh, <gasps> there are pigs. Pigs confirmed. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Great, great. We have pigs. Yep, perfect. All right. Don't worry, little piglets. Oh, we will. We'll come for that booty later. Although, again, it would've been nice to have chickens so I can massacre them and eat them. I mean, what? I didn't say nothing. Can't prove it. It's not like I have this on video or anything, Kappa. All right, we really do need to get some of the good old fashioned stone out of the way though. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna actually collect some of that coal off of the side of this mountain face. Probably shouldn't be running around like an idiot. But I mean, I think what's gonna end up happening honestly is now that we know about how OP villagers are, it should be a pretty easy transition, even on hardcore. Like, the RKO's honestly shouldn't be that bad. Um, because once we get the villager trades going, because we can theoretically get them done without a gold farm, we can just do, like, really simple trades for, like, wheat, potatoes, like, carrots and stuff. So if we just, if we hunt enough zombies, or if we just happen to stumble upon potatoes and carrots, like, on a village or whatever, then we should be in pretty good shape. Actually, do I want to do that? Do I want to look for a village? Well, I guess not. I think for right now, we'd have to make an outpost anyways. Because, like, if we find a village, I can't convert them. I don't have the, I don't have a potion, like, set up. I don't have anything. So, yeah. I guess we have to make a setup. So, day one mission, and by day one, I mean, like, episode one mission, I need to make an outpost of some level of safety. And then we should be in pretty good shape. Although, honestly speaking, probably could survive the night with a wooden swad. Oh, no, but you know what? No, no, it would be nice to have, and I just canceled that breaking, but it would be nice to have uh, some protection because I just realized I am going to have zero iron armor because I am going to be busy collecting coal for whatever reason for the rest of my life. 
GG, well played. Well played, Choco. You have once again outdone yourself in terms of thinking ahead. You are now a genius. Break. Break, darn you. I really should just make a stone pickaxe and just call it a day. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna dead gun you. Alright, here. We are just gonna make another crafting bench. I'm not in any rush. There are there is no threat of PvP, which is kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. It is it is somewhat relaxing not to have to worry about that. But um That said, that should allow us to focus more on building, which is cool. Oh, God, it's just night and day. Why? Where have you been all my life, Stone Pickaxe? Besides in my inventory as components. But still, my lord. Really? How much coal is there in here? Good grief, Charlie Brown. And before it turns nighttime without me paying attention. All right. We really should head back. Let's see here, how do you want to make this house? Do we want to make it out of stone or wood? Well, stone has always been our bay, but let's make a wood outpost. I think that sounds like a fun idea. Let's make a wooden outpost for today. So let me think here, a wooden outpost, we should probably make it, I guess we could make it like a ranch, honestly. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Make like a mapped area, that would be pretty sick. Yeah, let's do that, let's make like a ranch. Oh, that's gonna be cool. All right, so first things first, we have to actually make the ranch house. So let's start putting out the border for it. And since we have plenty of oak, that is what we will go with for the building. And then, it's getting dark though. I might need to, might need to just do like a room or something here. Cause it's getting pretty darn dark and I don't like that. Yeah, it's getting really dark. <laughs> it's getting super duper dark. Please don't kill me. Mobs of Minecraft, listen here. We have an agreement that you will not kill me on my first episode. If you do, I will probably end up crying my little eyes out. And then probably proceeding to rage and punch the game. So you don't want to do it, alright? I'm, I'm a violent man. I, I will do things that you you wish I never done all right throw actually we should take some of that coal out throw that steak into thar which we don't have very much of so I probably should have been a little bit more careful about that and then I guess we'll erect more of this three is always a good height three is a height that is always comfortable and then sure it's only a temporary thing and then boom boom whoop one too many we have a wooden axe for exactly that reason all right wah no 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 come back into my inventory naughty wooden planks my god i feel like such a pleb what happened guys we used to have an like an empire like guys what happened it's actually kind of tragic to see. It's just like, you remember how we used to have everything? Now we have nothing. We live by the scraps on all tables. Like, good lord. Alrighty, let's take a look at this. Throw down these bad boys. Yep, alright, good, good, good. Everything looks well lit. <laughs> I'm gonna clear out the weeds. Guys, what happened? Why am I living in a little wood shack? I should have killed the sheeples. Dad comments. Why didn't I kill the sheeples? That's what I should have done. I should have killed the freaking mother loving sheeples. Ugh. Dad comment. Alright. Let me think. Let me think, 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 think. There's a spitter? I'm not really worried about spitters. Up, oh, I see a Zambi. Oop. We got multiple hostiles located. Get the stake out. Actually, we should probably test to see if I regen health.
Regen? Uh-oh. Okay, yes. Whew! I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I think I might have just given myself a heart that I don't get back. But no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. All right, let's see here. I don't really want to take on anything with no armor, so we're just going to have to wuss it out all night long because I am not going out there. <laughs> I guess what I could do is I could be productive with this time and then start digging underground, which would probably be the smart thing to do. So let's go ahead and do that, even though I said we wouldn't, we would make a quarry and stuff, but whatever, we'll just do this for now because you got to do what you got to do, man. And we can make this a basement or something. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a quarry. Actually, yeah, let's do that, eh? Let's make a basement for this place. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's see here. Um, I have to get my bearings about where the base location is. All right, so pool of water is there. Okay, so we can make this like that, and then we'll reach a loop around like so. Okay, yep, okay, I can see that. I can see that. All right, so... Actually, uh oh, uh, oh crap. Don't you do it, Mr. Spider. No, you son of a goatfish. Nope. Stab. Actually, I guess it's not really all that scary. Honestly, I might be able to go retrieve some wool. No, Mr. Creeper. No, I don't want to play with you. Mr. Creeper. Oh, God. Oh no, they're congregating! No! This is how bases die! No, please! Alright. There were sheep on that mountain. Oh, there's Enderman now. And my desire to do this just went... Oh my god, Cal, you just freaked me out, bro. Alright, you know what? No, flip it. We're, we're continuing with this project. Alright, so... Because <laughs> I'm really scared of creepers right now. We're just going to do this. Alright, let me think here. So... We'll do it this way. We need a three clearance, so that should be pretty good. Yeah, that looks perfect. Perfecto. All right. And then go ahead and throw that down. All right. Go ahead and use up the wooden pickaxe some more. And honestly, this will probably end up being like a spiralish staircase again. Although, surely there has to be a better way to do that. We did a medieval theme, so I don't want to do a medieval theme again. I think we're just going to do like a kind of like a, a rustic-ish thing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out the theme as we go along. But let me see for now. Throw down a twatch. And then, oh, apparently we got raided. Who did we get raided by? Undead raid? Oh, I guess Justin raided us. Well, thank you very much, Justin, for the raid. Much appreciated. Good to see you all from Justin's channel. I am currently playing some survival vanilla hardcore. Interesting times. <laughs> Interesting, interesting times. If you guys are not familiar with how to Minecraft, then I would probably suggest that you watch that before watching this so you can understand how painful of a fall it was from Grace. But, should be a pretty good time. I mean, I, I'm actually kind of looking forward to the series. It's gonna, to start again from the beginning, knowing what I know now, I'm curious to know how decent I am at Minecraft, Kappa. <laughs> the answer's gonna be not very much. Let's see here. For now, this is a pretty good depth. I'm okay with this depth. And then we'll just empty this whole thing out. So this will be like, this will be our brewing area and the ranch, I guess. And the idea is that this would this would be like our cellar, right? Where we would keep the booze. So our booze is gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy concocted potions, which honestly is probably the closest thing to it. You know, it's it, you are brewing. And all sort of stuff, so I mean, it's pretty legit, right? Alright, so let's let's keep the walking distances down. The heck? Oh, it's above me. You sound really... You sound like you're right there. Are you? That's above me. 
That was really concerning. I was just like, why are you so loud? It's right above me, though. Do not want. Please, Mr. Zombie, stop groaning. Makes me feel very uncomfortable. I do have my stranger danger whistle, and I will blow the whistle into oblivion if you start freaking me out, bro. Alright, so let me see here. So, we are looking at 272, 279. This was 279 I looked at. So that was 278. Okay, so 278. So, seven difference. Okay, so I'm looking for 264. So, 264. Perfecto! Alright. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and drop a torch in here. And then another torch in here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And then we just have to clear this out. And then it should turn day... Yep, it's turning day soon. So we'll just clear, we'll clear out this much. We'll clear out these three little rows here. And then we'll start prepping for daylight. We have to start breaking down mobs and Lord knows what else. I don't think I want to get into the quarries quite yet. And this is going to sound strange, but I want to secure a good source of food before we go off into the quarries for Lord knows how long. And also, it may not be a bad shout to start thinking about what we want to do with, uh, like what we want to prioritize. I feel like we have to prioritize an iron farm. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Iron farms are just really handy. If, if we do go iron farm route, though, that means we're going to get villagers early, which is... I don't know. I feel like it's definitely not going to be a quick and easy thing by any means. But an iron farm would be a huge help. But then again, I guess, do you really need that much iron? I don't know. Many questions, not very many answers, unfortunately. Makes me cry every time. Ooh, we found some iron. Speak of the devil. And where's my other iron? Or stone pick? There you are. Alright, let's see here. So that's, we're three deep right now. Three deep is Gucci. Two. And then three. One. Two. And three. Alright, so one, two, three. And then we just have to dig this out. Alright. Ooh, actually, you know what? <gasps> because we're in single player. Wait. Think, Joko. Think about what you're about to say before you say it. Do you really want to say that on stream right now? Tentatively, like not a definite thing, but maybe, just maybe, we will make like an Iron Titan grade iron farm. Maybe. And I say that maybe with like the heaviest of emphasis. That is a huge maybe. Because that is a redonkulous project and a half. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a lot of time investment. And frankly, it's not exactly the easiest thing to do off the top of your head kind of thing. Even with a guide, it's just really time consuming. Like, I looked at it and I was like, oh god, like cringe, like that's gonna be that's gonna be quite a bit of work. <laughs> I actually remember looking at it, I was like, oh god, I really hope I never have to make this out of Minecraft. <sighs> there, I said it guys. I confess the truth. There were certain build projects I didn't want to do, alright? It was just too much, man. It's too much. Alright, let me just knock that out. Alright, let's get ourselves... Okay, so priority one, kill some Shep. Get the Shep to give us their wool. And then after... Do I want to actually kill Shep? I have the iron. Let's make some shears, actually. I don't want to kill Shep. I want to keep as many Shep as possible. For the betterment of mankind. Oh, man. Because that's where we spawned right there. I'm trying to think. Yep, no, that would work. That would definitely work. Monstrous 
project size. And oh, we have control of our render just <gasps> Guys, we're freaking rich. Oh my goodness. I just realized how many things are going to be different in this series. Holy dang. Life is weird. All right. Um, actually, let me get this other iron ingot. Nope. Let's get this iron ingot out. So shears and let's make a swad. He said with no sticks in his inventory. Good job, Choco. Good job. Solid effort. We can do this. We can do this. I haven't had much sleep as of late, so you will have to forgive me if I appear to be a little bit derpier than normal. Oh god, creepers didn't despawn. It's alright, it's alright. We are we are nimble. We are nimble chocobos. And I am not intimidated by creepers. Alright, we are not really in the need to hunt a cow at the moment, but we probably should start corralling these sons of guns and Start getting the pigs all corralled and then all this other junk. But for right now, let's at least make sure we secure the wool. I don't want to have to worry about the wool situation. So, wool, wool, wool. Wool, you. Wool, you get it? Wool, you. Isn't that great? Come on, guys. Ease up on, ease up on my punny remarks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you're naked. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me, but I was just so amusing at the moment. I, I had to, guys. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. All right, I'm free. I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry. All right. Um. Aha, Mr. Gray Sheep. Ah, you're also naked. And then... Ooh, we have lots of gray sheep here. Why are all you gray? Aha, I found one of your white kin. That sounds so racist right now. Oh, that damage. All right. Well, that's okay. Oh, we got a black sheep. You are clearly one of the parents. Unless, unless the black allele is actually dominant, in which case it's possible that, oh wait, no, but there's co-dominant, so, or partial dominance, I should say, because they're coming out gray. <laughs> Mr. Shep, you are living a dangerous life. This is actually a really, we started off in a really weird place. A really weird place. <laughs> we started off in a really bizarre area. There's a bunch of naked sheep on a mountain. I, I don't know. Just, life is confusing sometimes. Oh, you are... Oh, you are fine, actually. Good job, sheep. Wait, no. Down we go. Nice and easy does it. All right, cool. And then we're going to have to call a couple of cows. Like, let's literally kill a couple of cows. Okay, several cows. Okay, like, two more. Yeah, two more. Okay, one more. All right, perfect. Life is good. Life is really good. We got ourselves wool. We have ourselves some more food. And probably still not enough for me to feel comfortable to go into quarries, honestly. But we can start making our ranch stuff, which is going to be pretty hype out of Skype, honestly. Let's replant these saplings, though. Give them a chance to grow. Now let's go chop down some more wood, shall we? I probably should make a stone axe as this one is about to break. It's about to break. There we go. And there we are. Throw that down there. Let's go take another look sees over here. Um, I guess we could just like a little parkour jump. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. Let's throw a stake into here. And then, is it, I'm gonna feel like a dope for not remembering this still. Is it that? Yep, okay, cool. So bang, bed, nighttime, thing of the past. All right, wonderful, 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 wonderful. We are making advances, we are doing well. Let's go and make some stone axes for ourselves. Stelves, for ourselves. We're gonna need quite a few. Thankfully, I don't have nearly enough sticks, all right. Enough of this nonsense, Mr. Sticks. 
you're being ridiculous and I hope you know that. All right, there we go. That's plenty of stone axes if I do say so myself. I cry every time we used to have infinite diamond axes because now we are plebs. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. Like re-experiencing Minecraft from like a noob's point of view, like not a noob, I should say, but like you're, you're fresh, you're a fresh recruit. You're literally just like, you got nothing. Started from the bottom and now we're not there yet, but we'll eventually be at a place when we say here and we're proud. Right now we're not too proud of our here, right? Right now we live in a little like wooden encampment. It's not even like a hut. It doesn't have a roof. If it rains, we're gonna get soggy. Probably should put a roof on there. But we need a lot of wood so this is we're going to basically have to chop all this down and replant them unfortunately that's the one nice thing about dark oak dark oak gave you so much more wood i mean truth be told it probably is similar ultimately because you're trading four saplings per but when they grew you just knew that you had like a huge thing like a huge grove waiting for you somewhere which is nice well admittedly these are super simple to cut down which is kind of in their own right a really nice thing to have but I just like to complain, guys. All right. Sometimes I just, I just want to vet my feelings. Kappa. Uh oh. All right. Take out these logs right here. All right. We're starting to get to that magical point where, whoop. We're starting to get to that magical point. Yep. Okay. We need to start replanting. So let's replant. We should probably cordon off an area to actually just replant. Cause like you can you can get the density just right. And they can kind of replant and it's a little bit more efficient. You don't have to worry about like, oh the birch leaves are in the way, and then being all upset. That said, I will probably replant here anyways, Kappa. Alright, throw that down. Wow, we just got a bunch of random Okay, it's getting closer to night. Any last minute saplings, apples. Ooh, speak of the devil. All right. Okay, we are looking good. We should probably retreat. Because again, we're not playing UHC. I'm not all too interested in golden apples at the moment. We will eventually get to the point, hopefully, where we'll be eating notch apples all over again. Rich man swagging it up, but until then, we will have to live the life of a lowly pleb. A pleb lord, a pleb lord, a pleb lord. Tibet. Mwap, mwap, mwap. And up we go. Look at that. Man. To think. Beds, man. And no one's ever on this server, so I can sleep whenever I want. I, I can, I don't have to ever worry about someone being like, it's time to go. <laughs> I can just do whatever I want. Uh, dreams, man. Hashtag goals. All right, let's. Actually, truth be told, forget this. Breaking you down, mate. All right, let us see here. I don't like that sound. All right, um, I think it's like a bunch of sticks on either side, and then, oh wait, I think these are fence gates, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Of course you are. Okay, let's take those. Now let's do that. That's a decent number of fences, if I do say so myself. Alrighty, and then we're not really worrying about shears at the moment, so let's go ahead and just do this. All right, let's start cordoning off. Let's cordon off the ranch part of the ranch, like the actual like corral, so to speak. Um, this looks like a pretty decent place. I'm sort of skeptical about including water in it, but I guess if we make it one deep, there's no way a cow can drown, right? Like we're in single player, there shouldn't be any cows drowning. And surely not all the cows will drown at once. That would be ridiculous. Is it bad that when I said that, part of me was like, they're all going to drown at once, Joko? Like, you know it's going to happen. <laughs> part of me is convinced now that they're all going to drown at once, which is, again, not, it's just, it's not going to happen. It's just not. It's, no. That, no. Hmm. All right. 
well. We do have to flatten this out, which is really obnoxious. Should have made a stone shovel. That's all right. My God, how did I live without a freaking diamond shovel in my life? Lord almighty. This is going to take a while. Also, let me know what you guys have as opinion for like on camera work, off camera work. Um, I think what I might do is I might make this like, I, if, if I'm doing any work, I might just do it on stream. But this does get kind of boring after a while, so maybe not. Maybe we'll just make it just a straight up. We'll make it similar to how HTM was run. Like, I'll just show you guys like major updates or stuff like that. We'll see. Okay. And then we need some stone shovels, stone shoevelays. And then we got the stone shoevelays. Dirt. Wipe out the weird floating dirt. And then let's just cover this up. Technically something could spawn in these like little bits here. I'm not too worried about it though. They can't spawn, well they shouldn't spawn in water I should say. Um, but we've seen some really weird crap before so who knows. Alright, let's start filling this up. Perfect. All the way down the line. Good, good, good. Uh oh. And then. Oh. I don't really care about the depth of this water, but, you know, might as well, right? Look at that. So much easier. Life is just so much more convenient whenever you do that. All right. Man, really? That's all the dirt we took? Good gracious, all right. Man. You're just not as effective without your diamond equipment. I didn't realize how much of a life difference that would make. Good lord. Okay. Is 19 going to even be nearly enough? No, not even close. All right. Ah, no. Dad, give me you. Alright. Alright, up we go. Let's go ahead and RKO some of this dirt. Alright, there we go. Getting my hands dirty. Nah, nah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, not sorry. These puns are amazing. You're very, you're blessed to be surrounded by such wonderful puns, Kappa. Alright, then we put these down. One day, cows, I will rule this land. Remember, remember this humble beginning. What is wrong with you? Helicopter cow, what is wrong with you, friend? Okay, so maybe this can be like, oh, that would be so cool. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We make this kind of like our, like a little like swimming hole type thing. And then we expand this outward. This can be like a little tower base thing, like a little bit higher. Um, and this can just be like the rest of it. We'll have like an orchard back there, but this right here will be ranch territory right before that mountain. So it'll almost be like a natural ranch right around that mountainside. So let's actually, let's plan for that. Oh, that was gonna look gorgeous. All right. I say this and it's probably gonna look hideous, but you know, in my head it looks fantastic, which is important, Kappa. For now, we'll at least put on like a little bit of a guard area so we don't lose cows all right so let's go ahead throw down some fences nope all right really just like like the grass I think grass was a silly thing to add to Minecraft All I do is to annoy you, really, like, get seeds, whoop de do. Hashtag salty about seeds. Dead gummit. Alright, Mr. Cow. You are our first patron. Welcome 
No, 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 no. Oh, you were so close. You were really close. Don't worry. I will help you in there. One way or another, you're getting in there, buddy. Oh, look at that. He's like, oh, all right. I got threatened. Never mind, bro. Good job, cow. All right. Good work. All right. Next cow. The rest of you are not going to be so fortunate. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Come on. Come on, Bessie. No, no. Going the wrong way, Bessie. Dad, gum it, you stupid cow. Go that way. Bessie! Fleep off! Wow. That's all I need. Really? Really? Are you kidding me? That's all it takes. Just smack them once in the booty and they go the right way. My god, I could be a cowboy. Alright. Cowbird? Question mark. Alright. We got ourselves beginning of an outpost. I don't know why I did that little bit of jumping. Alright, so we need to make a hoe. Need to till some earth, because with the earth that we till, we can of course change that into wheat. With wheat, we can actually breed the cows. So let's go ahead and do that. Do we have any dirt left whatsoever? Nope. Alright, cool. All right, there's our three dirt. One, two, and three. Just because I like, I don't know, I like square, rectangular shapes and stuff. I don't know, it's my thing. Uh, perhaps why it's like I'm, why I like Minecraft so much. It's just a bunch of squares everywhere. All right, let's see here. We don't actually have it. Whoop. We don't actually have enough for a whole ton of wheat, but this will be a good start. All right. And then we'll eventually... Oh, this is going to be beautiful looking. Can, okay, so just imagine this, guys, right? This is going to be like a higher part of this, almost like a house-ish thing, right? This is going to have like a little bit more amenities, stuff like that. Um, and then we'll have like some pens and stuff over here. I'll probably clear some of that out. We'll use that. We'll like, I'll flatten off some of that mountain face or the hill or whatever you want to call it. I'll probably keep that tree. That, that has a pretty boss looking tree. And then we'll have like that part to there be like the corral. And then we're gonna have the quarry in there. And then we're gonna have all this stretch like from here out to about the start of that forest, maybe even into that forest. Maybe one day we'll just clear out the whole thing. And we, yeah, it's gonna be sick. I think it's gonna be awesome, but we'll see. For now, it seems like we're making a pretty decent start. I guess. I guess actually what we should be doing is we should probably secure the pigs. Secure, secure like our pig source and our cow source. It is getting night. All right, well, we have secured our cows so I don't have to feel bad about killing any more cows, but I would like to secure some piglets. All right, Mr. Piggy. Or, I don't know, maybe you're Mrs. Piggy. I have no freaking clue. It does not particularly matter to me. What does matter is that I get you next to your other pig friend, no, 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 you're a bad piglet, you get over there, it's getting night, don't you understand, people die at night, oh god, alright, please, no, don't escape, you dumb, oh god, we need, no, we need to leave, 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 we can resume this, I don't know why I was so stubborn about that. We need to leave, we need to sleep right away, we need to sleep, we need to sleep, we need to sleep, please don't kill me. Bed, 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 no. Come on. No mob spawns, perfect, no mob spawns. Oh, baby. All right, you stupid piglets, come here. I ain't done with you. I will incarcerate you. Look at that. They just go right back. They're like, oh, we did wrong. Okay. Yeah, you did wrong. Get, no, get your booties in there. Nope. There's nothing suspicious about this odd box shape that you are being stuck in. Totally legit. Nothing to worry about, Kappa. All right. Sorry, Mr. Cows, but um, I am now going to be a little bit more willing to part ways with you all <laughs> I'm just saying you give me the gift of beef I'm not gonna really worry too much about it white and a gray sheep sure 
I can dye you later. I can take some skeleton bones and make you a pure white sheep, even if you're not white right now. Because for whatever reason, this genetically modifies you into a different colored sheep. Come on. Down you go. Down you go. There you go. There you go, buddy. You know what? You can live in that little depression. How about that? Here. Just, uh... Then we'll pick that up. Get the dirt going. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. No, 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 dead gum you. you. Oh, they caught on. They've caught on. They know too much. No, no, dad gum it. You were so close. Oh, you son of a goat. You're not even a goat. You're a sheep. Are you kidding? It's literally fighting me. Like, no, absolutely not. I don't know what you think. What is wrong with you? What demon has possessed you to be so angry? Like, seriously, what are you going after, buddy? I might just kill him. I might just off him and just move on to another sheep. Like, what the heck are you doing? Go that way. Yeah, there you go. Look at this guy. He's got. He's with the program. Go up. Yeah, there you go, buddy. And then, no. Nope. Let me just scoot you along. I am a trained... Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Just do what your friend did. It's not that hard. What is wrong with you, gray sheep? Gray sheep, please. Please. I require your... Listen here, sheep. Like, look at him. He's just like a free wanderer. Get out of here. No, you're going into that hole. Yes. Aha! Success. And now you will be doomed to stay there forever. Unless you're Simon, in which case you apparently will die and create a one block hole for yourself and suffocate. But as long as you're not Simon, we should be okay. All right. And then, boink. Nope. Wasn't enough. Missed the crit. All right, one swift stroke, and then the... Actually, you know what? We should probably just requisition this cow. Here. Okay. Scoot your cow booty right on in. Hello, welcome third cow to the, to the conclave of cows. Which we never completed, by the way, because the stupid potato carrot farm issue. Come on. I'm just taking a couple of cows back to the staging area just because if we corral more of them, it's going to be easier to breed them. Admittedly, we will probably restart the entire thing whenever we actually make the proper corral, but for now, having a secure source of leather and food is not a bad thing. Because if we ever have to start making, like, lots of books or whatever, we can do that. If we ever get librarians, it's not the worst trade in the world for emeralds. Trading books to emeralds is not usually that bad. Because making, uh, what should we call it, making a freaking short camp farm is easy peasy, and cows are relatively easy. These poor cows, though, they're like, what the heck? Where did you even come from? Sorry, dudes. But I just want to have an abundance of food and a decent supply of leather. That thing is progressively freaking me out more and more I look at it. All right. Whew. Let me see here. Over we go. Okay, so we have cows, pigs, sheep. We have, well, I guess we would need to continue with our wood collecting situation. But I mean, we can start thinking about doing the quarry. So I think we'll reserve the quarry in the next episode. So we'll just worry about getting more wood for now. Maybe even just setting up the outline of the the entire project for at least the first part of it. Because I haven't really given this much thought, so I, I have no clue what it's gonna look like at the end. But I'll probably take some time off camera and stuff like that, get an idea, get some bearings of like how I want things to look and how I want things to work. But we'll see. We will indeed see. Uh-oh. Are we at the hour? Okay, no, it's like, scared me. Okay, no, we're about 50 minutes in. That's all right. All right, well, this is going to be... I'm, I'm going to wager and say that most of these episodes will be about an hour-ish long, give or take, like, maybe, like, 15 minutes either way. But I think this is a good place for us to kind of stop for now. 
If you guys enjoyed on YouTube, be sure to hit that like button so I know to continue the series. Because this is a this is a maybe series. This is not like a guaranteed series. This is like a... If you guys enjoy it, I'll definitely continue it. Because there's lots that I still have to do on vanilla. If you guys, on the other hand, do not like it, then of course I can reallocate my efforts to other projects and other things. But let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, hit the like button because that's a very easy way to show your support for the series. Um, I would say, like, let's say that the healthy number of likes for this is like, I don't know, because it's the start of a new series, let's say 2,000. I, I, I think that's fair ish. So, like, 2,000 likes on the video, and I'll take that as an, go a green light to start recording the next episode of this stuff. So, let me know, and also let me know about the title of the series, and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the Minecraft content, and I'll see you all. I just realized I sprinted all the way. I sprinted all of my hunger away. Why did I do that? Dad gum it. Crap, where am I? Uh oh. Okay, there we are. <laughs> but yeah, um, be sure to leave me a subscribe. Hit hit the, hit the subscribe button. If you are enjoying the content, please. It helps me grow and it makes me very strong and manly. That's what my mama told me. She also told me I was very intelligent. Eh. Alright, anyways, guys, I'll see you all another time. Take care and ciao for now.